you get, most of the plan commission already knows where I stand on a lot of different issues on the plan. Um, I do agree with uh, Mr. Fury's remark regarding um, land use and open space. I don't know if you recall that when I was at one of the meetings, I, I said I'd like to see in the plan of conservation development, is there a target for open space or are we looking to achieve it and then see um, either some language supporting that we're going to move in that direction or indicating to the public. Um, a, a big part of the issues that I, the only issues that I really have about the survey, I'm not really sure if people were privy to all the information before they were surveyed. So I, I have a couple questions about the survey in particular, like um, for example, when people were prompted about um, bicycle paths, were, was there a designation whether or not we were talking recreational bicycle paths or as an alternative mode of transportation? Uh, I heard somebody speak about complete streets today, so, and there, it's a huge difference, you know? It's just apples and oranges, so um, to say that survey fact that you know 80 percent of residents support bicycle paths are we talking about making a massive investment on the roadways or are we talking about giving somebody someplace to ride a, their bicycle with their family where they don't have to worry about automobiles and snow and ice and all those things and I, I think it, it would be nice to see that represented in the plan um, another thing too um, I, the plan I like the fact that it actually um, designates state policy in there and how the plan has to, I don't know how you feel about me using the word comply um, with state regulations, but um, I think a lot of residents are unaware of the fact that um, certain language and certain things in the plan make a big difference on whether or not you can get funding. So as, as people were asked, you know, a variety of questions about the plan, they were asked, um, should Bristol encourage? and and I have some concerns about does the word encourage mean the same thing to the people writing the plan as the people that were answering the questions. Uh, to me, encourage somebody to move downtown like Bristol Rising does a great thing. We're gonna, they promote businesses in the downtown and, and the city can you know use marketing and different techniques that don't really cost a lot of money to the taxpayer to encourage. But if you're talking about subsidizing, that's kind of a that would, might give somebody a different response to the question. Um, a, another thing too about the survey that I found that was not really addressed in the plan of conservation development is the amount of people that said they would be leaving the city. Or, were those people asked why they were leaving the city specifically or did we just move on to the next question and try to gather that result? Um, I also agree with Attorney Fury in regards to the um, development of businesses and creating jobs because I do think that that is the number one reason why people are leaving the city and the state is because of a lack of, not a lack of jobs because when we talk about the, how many jobs are in the community, people like to throw out the unemployment numbers which aren't really representative of the, of the fact of whether or not people are working full time or if they're working multiple part time jobs. and. You know, Bristol's heritage, like you said, manufacturing, that's why the, the COG is in the logo. So I don't see anything that really says anything about bringing manufacturing into the downtown. If, if the goal of the programs for the plan of conservation development are to provide people access to jobs, would it be more affordable to bring um, businesses into the downtown area, which actually made the downtown vibrant before, not how walkable it was or the fact that we didn't have a car in my opinion it's that we had a lot of jobs down there people wanted to live near their jobs and people were setting up businesses for people to shop in where there were people already now the, the focus on the plan of conservation development and the so-called heart of the city is supposed to be the downtown I agree with the gentleman that said that Forestville will be easier to develop than it will be the downtown of Bristol. Part of the reason for that is because the Route 72 investment that taxpayers made brought a lot of economic activity to the area of Pine Street. We had a former theater that we couldn't even run B-rate movies in before. Now we have expanding businesses popping up along in, in that plaza. Um, you can use the same subsidies that you're going to use for the downtown 
in Forestville Center, and it's probably in there, but it's not reflecting the plan of development. For some reason, we farmed that out to people that aren't in Bristol. I don't, I'm not really clear on why, and I would like to see some more of the information about what's going on in Forest Falls development. And I think if you want Bristol to grow and you want to not force people out by higher taxation, you need to pay attention to the free market. You need to pay, pay attention to people's attitudes. If you look at the survey results in regards to housing, Bristol residents, more than 53% prefer single family homes but the plan leans heavily towards the expansion of different housing options because that is state policy in a way to bring capital into the city. You can do both without focusing, and I'm not saying abandon the West End. It's absolutely not the same thing. But if you have to follow a central plan, you need to have a couple different things you need to have for have to have an open society and representative government the citizens have to be privy to all the information that has to do with the future of Bristol that's not that has not been demonstrated to the residents the way I would think that it should be demonstrated to the residents and I don't want to go on anymore and attorney Fury is way ahead of me on criticism, and I've got the bad rap, so I'm going to leave it right alone. <laughs> <laughs> I just